Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncreate the Shoei VFX Evo. What's up, SpeedX fam? Before we jump in and do the full rundown on the showy VFX Evo, do us a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. Do it. it only takes a second. That way you stay up to date on the latest parts and gear reviews. Admittedly, the VFX Evo review is quite late. We're actually redoing an older one that we had, okay? I know that's what you guys are going to say in the comments, but usually Speed Addicts is getting first look, and if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know. You won't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at Speed Addicts, you can do so by shopping with us. We'd appreciate that. And thus, there is a link in the description below that'll get you right over to this VFX Evo helmet. And while you're over at speedx.com, feel free to shop for whatever other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. Okay, here we have it. So, Shoei, the VFX Evo. This has been out for a handful of years. And honestly, the feedback has been mixed. The main issue with this helmet is that it's just so freaking expensive. Solid colors start at 569, and the graphics, this is where they get you, 739, almost a $200 jump in the price tag. So if you can get past that, we have a very competent off-road helmet that's suited for enduro racing. It has a, energy, a rotational energy management system built in. It ventilates great. It's got a lot of awesome things about it, and of course it is showy, so you get that, that Japanese craftsmanship the attention to detail, and that really just nice finish. Everything is where it should be. The design is nice. It's very dramatic with lots of angles, lots of things going on. So for your hard-earned money, you're going to get their AIM Plus shell construction. Okay, It is their advanced integrated matrix plus multi-fiber shell. Proprietary blend of aramid fibers that are going to make up the shell construction here. Now inside, you're also getting their med system, which is that rotational energy management system. They decided to, uh, to R&D their own rather than go with MIPS or some other third party. And the reason why rotational energy management is important, simply put, it, when you see a boxer or fighter get knocked out and when they get hit just right on the chin, it's usually because it's causing those rotational energy, that snapping, and that causes concussions and other brain traumas. It's a lot different than that linear force. That rotational energy is very dangerous, and so that med system that's built into the Shoei VFXW is uh, going to mitigate those forces on your head. Now, let's talk about the weight, three pounds, six ounces, kind of middle of the road for a dirt helmet. You know, when I'm riding enduro, I definitely want something lighter than the VFX Evo. I think this is a bit heavy for me personally, but when it comes to a track helmet, I typically want the safest thing I can get on my head. I want something with rotational energy management, and usually those are gonna weigh a little bit more. So there you have it. DOT, Snell, uh, M2020D, which I love to see. Intermediate oval fit, and the thing about Shoei's fit that I really like, always plenty of room for my fat ears. You know, you get into the Shoei helmet, you never fold it over, your ears pop into place. It always feels like a nice place to be. Size is extra small through two extra large, so you bigger heads are out of the equation here. And it runs true, it fits like a Shoei. It's intermediate oval to maybe just a touch on the round side. You got four shell sizes, so you're not wearing more helmet than you need to. When you're paying premium prices like this or ultra premium prices, that's what you're paying for. Those helmet molds as they make more helmet sizes or shell sizes get very expensive. So that's part of the deal. Now, remember when you're shopping for helmets online, you really should be shopping with us. Not to brag, but we're gonna give you no cost returns. That's right. We don't nickel and dime you like those corporate moto outfits. We're just gonna treat you like family and give you a free return label. To qualify, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states. Make sure the gear is brand new in original condition. You're gonna get that free return label, exchange it, return it for a refund, whatever you need to do. We'll hook you up. Okay, let's check out the ventilation. Tons of ventilation. Look at that array of brow vents. I mean, it's blowing air in the helmet, like right into your temples down into your goggles, you are hooked up with tons of airflow, 16 intakes and exhausts total. This chin bar vent is massive. The thing flows a lot of air and it also is removable. There is a little screw there. If you break this, if it gets caked with mud, you can remove it. There's a washable serviceable filter behind it. So it is truly race ready. And check out those angles, just very aggressive. And uh, up here, it's hard to see, kind of right behind this visor, this duct is peak it's actually funneling air into the helmet it's a smart design here it's hard to see with where it's adjusted here so you have a full array of crown intake ventilation you're going to get a good venturi exhaust here it is on the back 
kind of suck that hot air out. Now I would have expected to see more ventilating. You do have a little winglet down here, but nothing in the back. When we open it up, you'll see the rest of the ventilation system from the inside out. Large eye port. While we're here, you notice the white. It's not a great idea, Shoei. If you're listening on your next motocross helmet, please do not use lightly colored materials. Even though this is removable washable, this is gonna get grubby and discolored over you know your first few months of riding, depending on how much you go out. There's just no way around it when you have a lightly colored liner. Definitely one of my nitpicks on the VFX dub. Okay, let's check out the back. You notice big goggle strap here. It's gonna hold you in place, no issues. And is neck brace compatible if you decide you're running one of those. Lots of different trim and mold molding pieces here. It is, uh, it is pretty cool. So this, let's flip it over. You have a uh, D-ring closure, of course. You have emergency quick release cheek pads. Those red straps are gonna tell EMS they can just go ahead and pull the cheek pads off of, uh, out of the helmet before they remove the helmet off your head so they do not disturb your head and neck in case of an accident. On the inside, you notice the honeycomb waffle here. So from the front, you can service that filter, but this is what it looks like in the back. So lots of airflow without the possibility of you actually taking a rock or something. So safe airflow down the back. We have more ducting here. This is gonna suck some of that hot air out and put it down the, the back here. More lightly colored material uh, on the bottom. I know, I know, I'll shut up about that. Here we go, let's move these cheek pads out of the way. Like all showies, highly customizable interior. If the cheek pads don't fit, you must acquit. We have different sizes. Talk to our rider support team and we will get you into the right size. The size is right here, 35 millimeters. You can go thicker or thinner. Let's get the other set out. We have 3D Max dry interior, moisture wicking, antimicrobial, all that stuff that you should get for five to $700. And there it is. Okay, with those out of the way, you will notice there are no speaker pockets here. This helmet kind of came out at a time where the comm systems, and especially for off-road, were not quite as popping, so they decided not to go for that. You can still shove a speaker in there should you choose to, and it will it will work out. It just won't be quite as much room for your ears. Let's get that taken care of. And now we are going to remove the comfort liner also. You have some size options there for fine tuning. And this liner goes in and out quite easy. You notice the venting here that's built in. It unsnaps and snaps back in really easy. So, you know, you're gonna service this thing a lot. There's no snaps in the forehead, no hot spots. They use the brow snaps here down the back. Two more snaps, there's your size. With that out of the way, you see their multi-density EPS liner. And you also see that halo. That is a separate piece that's floating in there in case of an impact. When you hit, it's gonna allow your head to slip inside of the helmet reducing the rotational energy that is going into your gray matter. You notice the Snell 2020D up there. Also, how this is molded. So this is the actual EPS. This is very unusual that they have these grooves in the front. Those are matching up with the ducts in the liner because the ventilation system is very well thought out and it's gonna blow that cool air right into your head. All right, folks, that does it for the VFX Evo. You have a five-year warranty from Shoei. You probably won't need it because their products are really built to last. That's when you get your value. That that extra three or four hundred dollars you're spending on a showy helmet is over those last few years where other helmets would have broken down. You would have had to repurchase already. The showy will pay dividends. Now, if I didn't answer a question you still got, don't worry. Head over to Rider Support where you can always talk to a human over the phone, live chat, or emails. And of course, I know there's a lot of you out there with a VFX Evo in your hands already. Go ahead and drop a comment in the section below. Let us know how you like it so far. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.